I have this piece here from the BBC on the death of Kim Jong dead. I just want to read this to you. Millions of North Koreans were engulfed in indescribable sadness, the state news agency said, as people wept openly in Pyongyang. It's what every dictator dreams of, by the way. Every dictator dreams of this kind of coverage. The news agency described one of his sons, Kim Jong-un, as the great successor whom North Koreans should unite behind. Pyongyang's neighbors are on alert amid fears of instability in the poor and isolated nuclear-armed nation. Fears were compounded by unconfirmed reports from South Korean news agency Yonhap that the North had test-fired a missile off its eastern coast before the announcement of Kim Jong-il's death was made. Unnamed government officials in uh, Seoul, South Korea, were quoted as saying they did not believe the launch was linked to the announcement. South Korean Defense Ministry has declined to comment. Following the news of uh, Mr. Kim's death, the South Korea put its armed forces on high alert. Mr. Kim's death was announced in an emotional statement on national television. The announcer, wearing black, struggled to keep back the tears as she said that he had died of physical and mental overwork. He thought too much, and he worked too much. State news agency later reported he had died of a severe myocardial infarction along with a heart attack. The problem with that is that a severe myocardial infarction is a heart attack. So he had two heart attacks because he was thinking too much, he is thinking too hard. He was working too hard. Severe myocardial infarction along with a heart attack. 8.30 local time Saturday. He was on a train at the time for one of his field guidance tours. The state news agency said that a funeral will be held in Pyongyang on 28 December that Kim Jong-un would lead the funeral committee. A period of national mourning has been declared from now through December 29th. Images... From inside, the secretive state showed people in the streets of Pyongyang weeping and banging on tables at news of the death of Kim jong Dead. Every dictator dreams of this. Every dictator dreams of this kind of stuff. People in the streets weeping, banging on tables at the news of the death of the dear leader. I remember how all the U.S. news anchors wore black to report Bush's defeat of John Kerry in 2004. Remember that? They all wore black on TV that night to report Bush's defeat of Kerry. You know what they're going to tell us? Kim Jong-il was so big-hearted he needed two heart attacks to kill him. He had a myocardial infarction and a heart attack. That's how tough he was. His hearts were so numerous and so big, it take two heart attacks to get rid of Kim Jong-il. There was very little uh, income disparity in North Korea. There's, the gap between starving and dead is next to nothing. And that was the extent of the gap in, uh, in North Korea. So all hail central planning. Everybody's equal. You knew it was bad when Fox News brings out the Grim Reaper. It's audio soundbite number five. Fox News brings out the Grim Reaper to announce the upsetting news. This is a Fox News alert. Kim Jong-il, the North Korean dictator, is dead. We're fortunate that my colleague Greg Palcott was in North Korea and was how far away from the dictator? I'd say about 50 yards last year. 50 yards away? 50 yards away from the dictator last year. 50 yards away! And that was the news on the Fox News. Meanwhile, George Bush, Rick Perry, and Michelle Bachman are stupid. Idiots. They can't speak. Kim Jong-il, mercurial, enigmatic. Don't make fun of him. He wasn't a nut. North Korea mourns dead leader Sun hailed as a great successor this uh, successor this this kim jong un young un seems like a particularly apt name for the successor he's in his late 20s this article this is a reuters story and they're heartbroken in this story at reuters they point out how many in the north korean media and people of street have been weeping at the sad news 
banging on tables, terribly unhappy, upset, miserable. This is the uh, AP. North Korean leader Kim Jong-il, 69, has died. North Korea's mercurial and enigmatic longtime leader has died of heart further. Uh, failure. The communist country's dear leader, reputed to have had a taste for cigars, cognac, and gourmet cuisine, was believed to have had diabetes and heart disease. There's no mention of mass murder by a tyrant. Nothing about mass starvation of his own people. Nothing about denying those under his thumb the most basic necessities of life in the 20th century. Nothing about concentration camps. Nothing about forced abortions, nothing about racism, or that the madman who just assumed room temperature on his way to hell created nukes to sell to other men equally mad. None of this. In fact, George Bush was so stupid that he called North Korea part of the axis of evil. Remember that? Mr. Limbaugh, why are you making such a big deal over the... I'm not I'm making a big deal of the death. I'm making a big deal out of the way it's being covered. It's instructive. Yeah, I mean, it's ridiculously funny, but it's also instructive. This guy is being treated with an amount of respect there is in no way any he deserves. And yet... All these Republican candidates for president, stupid, dumb, idiotic, dangerous. It's important. There's a a classic lack of proportion missing here, sense of proportion missing. 